Hey, I'm here with uh, the Speaker of the House at the North Dakota uh, House of Representatives. How's it going today? Well, it's it's going well. Things are a lot slower than we anticipated. Um, there's is what's going on here because of the vast numbers or there's some weird organizational things? Yeah, well, the numbers are greater than ever. I think you heard a toll a little while ago, 2,300 and some people. So that is a record number, as I understand it, for North Dakota Republican conventions. And that's a good thing. More participation is good. Uh, the problem is, you know, you have people that have different views on different things and I hope that they will learn to coalesce and come together and disagree without being disagreeable because we can do that we've done that historically and that's really what we should do here um, recently I talked to you know with with all this stuff blowing up in national politics and everything I was talking to a fellow from uh, rural North Dakota and he said don't you remember the days when our dads would talk to each other and they would argue politics all day and they would be mad at the lumber yard but then they'd go and cheer together at the basketball game um, what's is this a good thing or a bad thing we're experiencing? I think it's definitely a bad thing. And you know, we see some of this in the legislature right now, which greatly troubles me. Uh, we see it around our state. And uh, and sadly, it's uh, it's among people that agree on most things. You know, Ronald Reagan used to say, my 20%, my 80% friend is not my 20% enemy. And we have to remember that, that uh, we can agree and coalesce as I think most North Dakotans do on most issues. We're a conservative state. We basically believe in faith and freedom and free enterprise and limited government and low taxes and less regulation for businesses and allowing people to live their own lives and pursue their dreams. And that's what the Republican Party has stood for over the years as well. And so will we have, uh, you know, specific uh, little minor areas we disagree upon? Sure. But we should learn to do that and be able to shake hands at the end of the day and walk out of the room. And I think historically, I've been in the legislature a long time, and that's a place where we have done that historically. We, uh, no one has the same exact voting record. We all disagree on some things. But you need to be able to do that, have your healthy debates, leave as friends, and bury the hatchet. So, um, you know, there's a lot of people that don't want to get involved in politics because they think it's all bad and everything. What's Talk to the person who's not here or who's watching this from the outside and the importance of getting involved at that local level, at the district level, and maybe being here as a delegate. You know, it's interesting. I met a couple just last evening at, uh, at our uh, little dinner break. And uh, they were brand new delegates. They'd never been involved in politics before. They got involved in, in a district here in Bismarck. I'm from West Fargo, so not folks from our area. But they were they were amazed. Uh, the, uh, the the woman had grown up in California, and the gentleman had lived other places as well. And they said, you know, we went to our district meeting and we discovered that. Yeah, there was a three vote difference in a vote we took and we found out hey we can really make a difference and I think that's the theme in North Dakota uh, people that do get involved can really have influence so I encourage folks to do that uh, so for the people that are at home today uh, what 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 you want to share with them about what's happening here? Well, I would say this is not the way it always is. Uh, most of us don't like it. We like to get along and, and disagree where we need to, take a vote, decide an issue and move on, and hopefully we'll get back to that.